Good day, STEM 12 learners. For today's session, our competency is to rewrite a vector into its component form. With that, our objective is for you to be able to first rewrite vectors in components form by illustrating it. Second, calculate vector's magnitude and infer its direction using its components. And lastly, recognize the importance of vectors applied in real-life situations. Just to recap from our previous lesson, we know that vectors can be added graphically using the tail-to-tip method, where the first vector is drawn first and the following vectors are drawn connecting their tail to the tip of the previous one. The resultant is drawn from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the last one. But adding vectors graphically is often not sufficiently accurate and is not useful for vectors in three dimensions. There is a more powerful and precise method for adding vectors, and that is by resolving vectors into its component form. A vector that lies in a particular plane can be expressed as the sum of two components of the original vector. The components are usually the ones along two perpendicular directions. Now, there are two ways to specify a vector in a given coordinate. First is to give its components, and second is to give its magnitude and angle. But before we specify vectors, let us review some mathematical concepts that are useful to our lesson. In a right triangle, we have an angle. Opposite to it is the opposite side. Beside it is the adjacent side. And the longest side is what we call the hypotenuse. Mathematically, we have the trigonometric functions or commonly known as the SOCATOA. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And in terms of the vector's component, it is similar with the trigonometric functions, where Sine theta is equal to component by over vector v. Cosine theta is equal to component vx over vector v. And tangent theta is equal to component vy over component x. This is the comparison between the two functions. And in finding the components of a vector using trigonometric functions, we use this formulas. Thus, the components of a vector are Vy is equal to V sine theta for Y component and Vx is equal to V cosine theta for X component where V is the magnitude of the original vector and theta is the angle that the vector makes with positive X axis.
Using this information, we can now proceed to specify vectors coordinate when magnitude and angle is given. For example, a vector V represents a displacement of 500 meter in a direction 30 degree north of S. Resolving its components, we have X and Y vector represented by dash lines. Take note, the given are 500 meters for magnitude and 30 degree north of it for its direction. Recall that to get the magnitude of the components, we will use Vy is equal to V sine theta for Y component and Vx is equal to V cosine theta for X component. To get the y component, for this specific example, we have Vy is equal to 500 meters sine 30. We get Vy is equal to 250 meters. For the x component, we have Vx is equal to 500 meters cosine 30. And we get Vx is equal to 433 meters. Now, do not forget to indicate the direction since vectors deal with both magnitude and direction. With this, we were able to specify a vector in a given coordinate system because the magnitude and angle were given. On the contrary, if we are to calculate the magnitude and angle of the original vector, we will be using the formula V is equal to the square root of the sum of two components and for the angle, we use tan theta is equal to Vy over Vx. The second way to specify a vector is by using components. This is a very useful for situations involving two or more vectors. For example, let's resolve all the vectors into their components. For vector 1, we draw dash line for x and y components and we do the same with vector 2. Next, we add the vectors by the means of their components. Note that when adding vectors to get a resultant, it implies that V is equal to V1 plus V2 is the same as Vx is equal to V1x plus V2x and Vy is equal to V1y plus V2y. That is, the sum of x components is equal to the x component of the resultant. And for y component, the sum of y components is equal to the y component of the resultant. Here are some important reminders as we summarize our lesson. Addition of vectors can be done graphically by placing the tail of each successive arrow at the tip of the previous one. The resultant is drawn from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the last vector. Vectors can be added more accurately by adding their components. A vector of magnitude making an angle with the x-axis has component. Vy is equal to V sine theta and Vx is equal to V cosine theta. Given the components, we can find the magnitude and direction of a vector using the formula. Vectors have so much application in real life. For instance, in military usage, because cannon vary in caliber, range mobility, rate of fire, angle of fire, and firepower, a balance and combination of these attributes is needed for their intended use in the battlefield. Thus, it must need a vector. For your activity and to check your understanding, Try this activity on your notes and take a photo of your output and submit on our class GC and we shall check your works after your submission. 
And thank you for watching and I hope you learned a lot from this lesson.